So how did you get into the industry then? Okay. So, um, the, I basically, um, I guess I'll just start from the beginning because okay. I may as well. I've never really talked about this publicly before. Um, so I'm a little nervous, but I feel like I want to, you know, tell people because it's my truth. It's part of my story and why I am who I am. Um, but when I was 18, so probably like two weeks after I turned 18, I was working at American Apparel mm -hmm. and I hated that job and I didn't want that job, but I also wasn't going to college. I already knew at that point because, right. um, the way I, I'm just not a college girl. Like I'm just not, it's not for me. Sometimes you just know. And you know what? <laughs> There's a lot of people who are going to college, getting themselves into serious student loan debt and then, and then, then coming like, out of college and not getting the jobs they wanted having nothing, or finding that they didn't need to go to college to even pursue the career they end up pursuing. Yeah. So the idea of going to college is becoming like less it's and obsolete. less of an, of a thing now, you know? So I, mean, I don't think you should feel ashamed of that. I'm not, I'm definitely not ashamed, especially considering my current circumstances. Yeah. It's worked out well, yeah. but, um, so I didn't want to work there anymore. So I started looking on Craigslist for different types of jobs, um, that I might want to do. And I found one job that it was like webcamming, mm -hmm. like sign up to be a webcam model. You can make like a thousand dollars a week or something like that. And I mm -hmm. said, that sounds pretty fucking good. So I messaged the guy who posted the ad and he said, Oh, I'll pick you up and we can talk about it. So he picked me up and uh, you know, he had a really nice car. He had like a Gucci wallet and all these nice things about him. So I thought, you know, this guy, like he has He's money. money yeah. So clearly this stuff works. And he took me to a hotel and, uh, he had a computer and he was showing me my free cams, mm -hmm. which is the website that I started camming on. And he, I had a shift later that day at like five o'clock mm -hmm. and he was telling me like, you can make so much money doing this. Like you can become huge. Like webcamming is the new porn. Like nobody's doing porn anymore. Like everybody watches cam girls mm -hmm. and I knew nothing about it. I had never heard of camming. I never heard of my free cams because, you know, I was underage a couple mm -hmm. weeks before, mm -hmm. but I thought it sounded amazing. And I said, you know, I'm personable. I can definitely do this. So I need to make a decision right now whether I'm going to leave this guy and go to work and just forget this whole thing or I'm going to call out or quit my job and start camming and just see where it takes me. Because at that point I like, had... Like start right then? Not at that exact moment, but okay. like that would be the beginning like immediately. of like my journey. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I... I had nothing going for me at the time. Like I knew I wasn't going to school. I felt lost. Um, my mental health was not the best. Um, so I said, you know, fuck it. I called my work and I said, I'm not coming in. I quit. I didn't even give two weeks, which was a dick move, but whatever. Um, and then I started camming. So this guy, he basically, what he just like showed me to be camming was that I would do, he apparently owned like a studio, like a cam studio okay. and a lot of other girls like cammed under him. Right. Um, and he would provide like the resources, like a place to work and, you know, stuff that you needed and blah, 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 and mentorship and all this stuff. And he apparently worked in the adult industry for a long time and, you know, all this stuff. And I was naive mm -hmm. clearly um and i think like i was almost in denial of like what the situation really was and i just wanted it so bad to be mm -hmm. like you know my way of not having to work at this shitty job and my way of being successful at something and, and independent yeah and, and independent and, yeah. and being happy because i already like felt pressure to move out like you know my parents they said like you don't have to move out yet you're fine but you know, you, you feel like a burden like yeah. at 18 is usually when people go to school and then they're yeah. not living at home. So I definitely felt like uncomfortable at home, but so I started camming and slowly over the next couple of months with that guy's mentor mentorship, I say it very loosely, mm. I started to realize that the situation was not what I thought it was at all. 
um, this studio that he had was not really, like, I don't think it was anything. To this day, I don't really know, like, what it was. But to make a long story short, he wasn't really, like, who he said he was, I don't mm-hmm. think. He lied about a lot of things, like his name. And I told, like, he knew everything about me. He knew, because he he didn't have my bank info. But my payments, like, my earnings from my free cams would go to his studio account and then he would take the money out and give it to me Uh but I didn't like I didn't have direct connection to my money Uh and over time like he stopped mentioning like the studio and all these other things like he was just talking about his own projects and not really talking about my camming anymore but we still talked and you know and he was taking a percentage of your money he says no but I do not know I feel like the answer is yes yeah Um, and, you know, over time, the relationship became less and less professional, like Mm -hmm. a mentorship and very personal and Mm -hmm. more like a romantic relationship that I never really consented to or wanted to be in. But Mm -hmm. he had kind of like made me feel like, you know, I couldn't succeed in this industry without his help. And Mm -hmm. at this point I was way too deep in and I couldn't just leave adult and just go back to my regular life because I didn't have a regular life. Right. It's like this was the the very beginning of my adult life. Right. So I felt like very desperate and he didn't threaten me, but he just very heavily implied that I didn't really have any other options. Wow. Um, and then in September, that summer, he started getting really distant and just not talking to me anymore. And he would pay me less and less frequently. Like I had to reach out a lot of times just to get paid. And I was getting so tired of it. My anxiety was just like at an all time high. And I was like, you know, I don't deserve to feel this way. And then in September of 2017, I lost my grandma to a suicide. Oh, God. Yeah. It it was a lot in that moment to deal with, like, that guy being on my mind and then this. Um, And then at the end of that month, um, he hadn't been paying me, so I contacted my free cams and said, look, I need my own account because this guy's not giving me my money, and Mm -hmm. every time I cam, I can't get the money, 